This is part two of the condition report for number three at 35 Pamela Street in Mount Waverley. Just starting here in the front door area. See, there's no holes in the mesh there. It is paint chipped down at the bottom step. Your door, there's various marks on the front door. There's no damage to any of the glass panels. Just closing that door. Back. Again, no damage. Just some marks on the back there. Your glass is undamaged. You got a sticker up the top there on the outside. Okay, the walls just have some minor marks. You've got an RACV alarm system just here. Just some various marks there. Moving down the other wall, all's really good there. You tile in, all is clean. It's just some dirt that I brought in there that I'll remove. Moving back up to the ceiling, down like there, smoke alarm. That hasn't been tested yet. Okay, moving down into the living area. Walls, your alarm sensor there. There's various marks here near the TV connection. Your screw there. Again, there's some marks. Just down there. So there's various sort of marks around. There's a second screw. Some more marks just above this power point there. Okay, you got a thermostat there for the Brivus central gas ducted heating. You got various marks here on your skirting. Okay. The carpet. It's a minor mark. Here, next to the entrance to the dining, there's also some light marks over here. Another one there. There's a bleach mark here. Other than that, it's been professionally cleaned, but yes, the carpet does have some various marks. Window area here. Okay. It's all reasonably good and clean. Some minor marks down there low. The Venetian blind is in good condition. There's no concerns there. It's moving up to the ceiling. You got two downlights that are working. Ceiling's in pretty good condition overall. You've got your, your central ducted heating vent there, your alarm sensor in the corner. Okay, moving into the dining area. Start here again with the walls. Just see some damage to the skirting down there. Okay, the cracks to the corners there. And just some minor marks, minor marks there and there, okay. Moving back around. And just down this wall, let's see, there's a nice large gap there. Okay, your ceiling is overall it's pretty good. You've got two down lights that are working there. Your central ducted gas heating again. You got two windows, both have screens. Your winders are working, locks are working. Okay, they're relatively clean as well. A bit of damage down here to the bottom of the timber. 
Just some scuffing and various marks. The blind in good condition overall and is working well. On the glass door here you've got your tracks that aren't a hundred percent clean down there. You got your blinds that have some various minor creases, like that one there, for example. Um, some minor dirty marks. Okay, and the vertical blinds aren't sliding very well either, so that is something that we may have to get looked at for the tenant. Glass door. A little bit dirty on the outside from some water and rain. You've got your screen door as well. It's sliding well. And that's all in reasonably good condition. A bit of rubbish down the bottom, but there's no holes in the screen. Top floor. All appears to be in good condition overall. Okay, moving into the kitchen area now. Again, we've got various marks on walls. I've got a small dent there underneath the staircase. Damage to the skirting board there. You got a vacuum cleaner duct right there. Okay. Moving across to the other side of the room, various marks underneath the split system. You've got one screw there. This is a Fujitsu split system. Okay, that is tested and in working order. Various marks down here underneath the intercom. Just here you have a cabinet door. Okay, doors in good condition. This box here is equipment for the ducted vacuum cleaning system throughout the property. So it's a hose and your, and your um, attachments with that. Shelves are all good in there. Let's move in down this corner. You see various paint chips down the corner. Again, opening up in your, your um, skirting board. Okay. Some minor marks there. Just start going through the cabinetry now. So shells have some minor scuffs, but overall in very in good condition. Okay, moving across here, you've got your nightingale range hood. Filters in reasonably good condition. Only one of the range hood lights is working at the moment. Again, looking through the cupboard, shelves seem to be pretty good. Some minor scuffs on the shelves. Okay, no damage to the front of the cupboards. the fridge space, moving down the fridge space, it's all reasonably good, again just some minor marks, but nothing to be too concerned about there, moving back across, you got your wall tiles that are in fairly good condition, there's just some discoloration in some grout in some places, okay, especially behind the stove. Okay. But overall everything appears to be clean. You've got a phone point there. Power points appear good. Stone bench tops are good. Chef cooktop which is clean. Moving around to your bench top again. All is in good condition. There's no damage there. Moving down below, okay, cupboards seem to be good. 
drawers, there's various scuff marks inside the drawers. It's all fine. The oven, glass is all nice and clean. The base, that's just some wear and tear there. The racks are clean. The tray. Again, just some wear and tear stuff. Okay, so it's a chef oven. So, lights working in that. The cupboard is in good condition. Moving over to the centre here, you got your fish and pipe dishwasher. All looks to be in good order. Cupboards underneath the sink. There's some minor marks at the bottom there. That's an old plug by the looks. Excuse my bags there. Bench top seems to be in good condition. The minor mark there. Got manuals here for the all the equipment in the property. The four remotes. This minor mark there. Don't know if that's in the stove or not. Sink and tapware is in good condition. We've got two globes that don't seem to be working in here. Not sure if that's a light bulb issue. And you've got one that is. Just the other walls, you've got one screw. And the other walls appear all fine. Just got some cracking in there. Okay, now we move into part three of the condition report.